Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll see one of the important interview questions from zero to five years of experience. That is difference between get and load methods in Hibernate. Difference between get and load methods in Hibernate. So, first and foremost difference is when load method was introduced and when get method was introduced. So first initially load is a legacy method and load method is introduced and get method is introduced after load. Upon the user request get method was introduced but the first and foremost method introduced is load. And coming to the second point what happens if the record is not present in the database and if the record is present in the database. So when we call get method and if no record is present in the database so it returns null. I repeat once again when get method is called and if the record is not present in the database it returns null get method returns null coming to the load method if the record is not present in the database so what happens is object not found exception is thrown object not found exception is thrown and the third difference is database hit so get method always hits the database get method always hits the database but coming to the load method, load method does not hit the database every time. Load method does not hit the database every time. Next, fourth point. So, get method returns either null or fully initialized object. So, I'll tell you the scenario. So, get method returns either null or fully initialized object. So, when the record is not present in the database, get method returns null. When the record is present in the database, it returns the complete object. And coming to the load, load method always returns proxy object. Load method always returns proxy object. So what is meant by proxy object means, proxy object is a kind of dummy object with only ID property set. It's a kind of dummy object with only ID property being set and the rest of properties being null. Next, fifth one. So coming to the get, there will be less performance when compared to load. Coming to the get, there will be less performance when compared to the load. Why? Because as get always com returns the completely or fully initialized object, there will be less performance. As get always returns fully initialized object, there will be less performance. But coming to the load, as it returns only proxy object with the property set, there will be better performance when compared to get. There will be better performance when compared to get as load returns only proxy object. Hope you guys understand the video, understand this bit versus load differences. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.